So idiopathic scoliosis, it's a very, very common condition. It's probably one of the most common spine conditions we actually see in children. A lot of treatment around scoliosis depends on two things, curve size and age. When we talk about age, it's not more of a function of chronologic age as it is more of a function of skeletal age and maturity. With kids in the surgical range, the treatment of choice was a posterior spinal fusion. The aim of the procedure is to actually fuse the spine to prevent it from moving. So when we do these things, we get really good correction to the point where we can get the spine almost straight. However, after the treatment, there is virtually no motion in the fused segments of the spine. With a fusionless technique, you might obviate these changes to the biomechanics of the spine and allow for normal spine motion to persist despite treatment, which is very appealing in my mind. The Apifix provides treatment for scoliosis without compromising motion. This allows for motion and continued growth in skeletally mature patients. In skeletally mature patients, it allows for continued distraction to allow for further correction over time. When we treat kids with a spinal fusion, majority of children have been able to return to most of their activities, but it does significantly change the way your spine moves. So they'll have to adapt to their activities in a certain way. And in some of these kids, they may not be able to return to their activities of choice. With this system, it allows us to potentially maintain motion and allow them to continue doing what they want to do without sacrificing correction. So from our experience with doing the Apifix system, the operative time is much less we're averaging between 75 to 90 minutes. Blood loss is typically less than 50 cc's. It's a unilateral exposure, so the entire spine is not exposed. Postoperatively, since we've lost less blood, the procedure takes less time to do. They're up and about much quicker. Most of my patients have been up and about on the first day after surgery and are ready to go home post-op day one. Typically, normal daily activities are allowed immediately after surgery. At around four weeks after the surgery, we typically institute physical therapy. So when we're talking about return to sports, that may take a little bit more time. Usually around to the two to three month mark, we're talking about return to non-contact sports, such as running, swimming, and all those things. Around three to four months, we're probably gonna be okay for contact sports, such as basketball, soccer, once you fuse the spine, you can't go back. The spine is completely fused. But if you succeed with this system, then you would have succeeded at leaving your child without a spinal fusion with the rest of their lives.